What's up, YouTube? I wanted to make a video uh, on housing and renting. You know, one of the things that I've noticed is that this world system makes it hard to get ahead. And that's one of the things that I think is so deceitful about riches is because, one, I believe it is borderline impossible without doing something wrong to really get rich in this world in an honest way except maybe you know um, if you study really hard and become a doctor or something like that and you really dedicate your time to what you're doing but one of the things that you know Jesus has given us victory over is the world system and so when you start to get interested in renting or buying a home, you really do see, you know, the craziness of the people in charge. Now, we know that behind the people in charge is also um, just the evil empire of the invisible world, which are demons, Satan, things like that. And so... Um, Nevertheless, people who are not Christian or who are Christian and just not keeping God's commandments are in control of a lot of these uh, world systems. And so I love how Jesus came to give us victory over the world. And you really need it when you sometimes um, start to face struggles with money, with housing, with rent because um, in a lot of places, you know, the evil that's going on is just charging ridiculous amounts, you know, to rent or even to buy a home and especially, you know, there are many, many, many homes that are not really even worth the price that they put on that home but yet they're so expensive even though it's a 20 year old 30 year old 40 year old home and so um one of the things you'll realize is that you know the the world system is meant to cause you to sin if you want to just really boil it down to you know something simple it's it's caused to get you emotional to get you in a sinful mindset so you will not serve god so you won't um like life but you'll despair in life and i think as christians one thing we have to do is not let this world system and how things operate now really control us and also make us bitter and just ungodly and sinful because we are um you know so angry or so you know upset about not getting something or you know they did this wrong they did this bad to me and you know they know it's wrong and yet they're doing it anyway now i mean we can you know sort of protest we can work overtime you know to make enough money to you know uh pay for things and but when you really like actually stop and think about it, you know, Satan is using money and the lack of money and the lack of, uh, you know, availability for resources and things like that to aid in his plan of bringing people in rebellion against God. And, you know many people probably go down that route you know i'm not going to serve god i need to serve money in order to get ahead because hey i can't i can barely pay rent and put food on the table and you know i have all these different issues and so you know 
one thing I think it's important is, you know, trying our best to come from, even though we have to have a job and you should find the best job that you can and, you know, we have to go to college and better ourselves and all that fun stuff that we think about, you know, we still have to come from a standpoint of, you know, I'm not going to let this world system, you know, control me where I'm not serving Jesus. And that is what I think makes the Christian life hard, you know, because it's so easy to, you know, say, okay, you know what, what can I do differently in order to pursue money rather than pursuing Jesus? And we get so caught up in, oh, you know, I want, I like that house, you know, or I like this apartment and, oh, why are they charging so much for someone to, you know, get qualified here? And, you know, they denied my application, even though I know, you know, I can do it or, you know, that you can qualify for it. And so one of the suggestions I would say is. You know, if you are open to moving, you can do that. You can try moving to an area that is uh, more suitable, but you run into other snags. You know, I really believe that they plan. They do a lot of planning, you know, whether we're talking about Satan or we're talking about people. They do a lot of planning to cover every single avenue that people would think about. You know, and of course, except for, you know, the Jesus Avenue, but they do a lot of planning to say, okay, if they decide to move, you know, let's lower the uh, minimum wage in this state because then everyone will move here because housing is affordable. So they think of things like that. And so moving, I don't, I wouldn't say is the, you know, the fix it because a lot of states are not really that nice or. Um, you know, the neighborhoods aren't as good as maybe where you live now. But I would, you know, try to get something affordable, you know, uh, which is obvious. But, you know, we should try our best to live, you know, within our means or below our means, you know, where we don't have to have the nicest house on the block. You know, we don't have to have, you know, luxury everything but at the same time we don't have to as christians live in a dump or live in a you know really poor area because we don't want to you know um overextend ourselves and so um i think you know you obviously know where you are financially but you know there are things that i think is worth your time, you know, because you could wait a year or two years and realize, wow, two years have passed, you know, what did I do with that time? Well, you know, I believe that going to college is one of the best avenues for you because it, it can take a long time to get a promotion or you know, move up in the company, especially if you lack the skills, you know, maybe you don't have all the skills or the knowledge to understand what you need to do to be a manager or to be an executive. And so you need to get those skills in order to, you know, have that higher paycheck. And so I would say, you know, the thing to do is to say, okay, you know, if nothing is going to change in the next two to four years, how can I use my time to, you know, better myself in the midst of, you know, the things that you are um, trying to do, your goals? Um, maybe that is, you know, learning more about a certain, um, you know, aspect of life, like um, your learning to become a real estate agent or you know maybe you're learning you know uh to become a uh you know uh an architect 
or you know you're doing different things that you know there's an avenue a career path for you and so um even in the affordable housing sector you know what i've i've noticed is that they make it really hard even though on the paperwork or on their advertisements you know they'll say you know oh you know we make it easy for you to come live at this area or this to buy a home with our mortgage lenders and they do all this but they actually make it really difficult and the people they choose strategic people that they know will make it difficult you know and and so um even some of the low cost housing that you know the city offers in many cases the housing is poor you know the the housing is broke down or just really dated and you know i'm sure they have issues every single day with you know different things that go on as far as the you know things breaking down and things not working right and so um that being said you know we as christians you know i love when we can keep in mind where and what kind of city we are headed towards you know and i love how heaven is exclusive also not that i love that people are going to be lost or something like that but the people that make it hard and the people that you know are making it difficult to get mortgage loans or to to rent a nice apartment you know i can bet my bottom dollar that all those people are not going to be in the new jerusalem you know all those people are not going to be in heaven and it's the tables are going to be turned you know they are going to be wanting to get into the new jerusalem they are going to be wanting to get into an apartment in the new earth and be a part of the new creation but yet their application is going to be denied unless they repent and put their faith and trust in Jesus Christ. And so when we keep in mind where we're headed towards, we're, we're going to a city made out of gold. You see, this is what people who have riches, they don't have faith. You know, some of them may do may have faith, but many of them as the Bible describes, they don't have a relationship with Jesus Christ, you know, and it's something that, you know, I think when we realize that Satan is using, you know, money and the lack of uh, resources to control and manipulate people, I think it's really eye-opening because, you know, as Christians, you know, we are rich. Even though we may not always have a huge bank account with a whole bunch of money in it, we are rich because of where we are headed towards. You know, see, the world is headed towards hell. You know, Satan is headed towards hell. And... They have no way of changing that, you know, that outcome. You know, a preacher may preach, you know, someone into heaven, but if they don't have faith and trust in Jesus Christ and don't obey Jesus, you know, they're not headed towards heaven. They're headed towards hell. And so, yes, I think we still do... Um, have to sort of play the game as far as you know going to work and you know paying our bills and you know applying for that apartment that you want or you know uh, applying for a mortgage loan and you know adhere to their rules and you know um adhere adhere to their qualification requirements 
all those things we still have to do and it's not wrong to necessarily have a qualification requirement that's not necessarily wrong other than Jesus is the one that paid the price for us to go to heaven and so he did all the work and so as Christians we don't have to let the home and renting and you know God bless the government but you know even the parts of the government that are not right we have to realize that we're citizens of heaven and so Satan wants nothing more than to let not getting the house that you really want you know uh, the 42 million dollar house on the beach in Hawaii that you know you can't get into unless you meet their uh, 42 million dollar paycheck amount you know what that tells me is that the cost to get into heaven is much higher than that you know if that's the price that people would put on a lowly little you know corrupt land in Hawaii 42 million dollars that has the view and the beach access you have your private beach and a, just a mansion big enough for 10 people 20 people the price for heaven you know is just much more then even as Christians what we could pay but yet Jesus still offers us life and eternal life and so yeah you know there are practical things that I think you can do in order to rent your first apartment or rent an apartment or buy a home you know there may be different things that you might have to work a second job or you might have to, you know, uh, increase your income by working a side gig or, you know, both both uh, your spouse and yourself having a job. And, you know, there's different sacrifices that we do have to make. But realizing that this is not our home, you know, once you get that house that you so want, realizing that, you know, this this shack does not compare to the mansion that we'll have not for one year term or maybe a 30 year fixed rate you know but we'll have for all of eternity and so God wants us to look at trying our best to be content that's hard to do you know and especially in America you know and especially when they're starting to come out with new technology and new different uh, new upgrades and different things like that that you can add to your home purchase or add to you know your apartment a better apartment but um, God nevertheless wants us to be content with what we have now now that doesn't mean that you if you're living in a uh, apartment or a home that maybe is too small for you or you know that is not really as nice as you want it to be that doesn't mean you can't necessarily apply to a different place and move but you know realizing that you know Satan is the god of this world and he still needs to thrown down, be thrown down but one way we can throw him down now is by serving Jesus Christ, by keeping his commandments, by keeping the word of God, by keeping Jesus' commandments, and making sure that we are walking and following Jesus and following God and not letting this world corrupt us. And so hopefully this was encouraging to someone you know, um, I think that the home and renting topic is, can be an emotional type of uh, stronghold on people. And so, um, you know, as Christians, yes, you know, 
if you've been without a home or a roof over your head, you know how like, being exposed to the elements, you know, is not always fun. And so, um, on a sunny day, on a warm day, you know, hey, it's it may not be that bad. But keep in mind, no matter if you rent that new apartment or you buy that new home that this is not our home you know this is this place needs emphasize need this place needs to be destroyed and we're getting closer and closer to that day where God makes a new heaven and a new earth and so um, thank, thank you so much you know um realize that Jesus makes us overcomers of this world and the desires of the righteous will be granted and so um, keep pursuing what you're pursuing and don't let Satan steal what Jesus has given you and so thanks so much and I will talk to you on the next one see ya